Hello everyone, in this lecture we will be going over 2011 Amy 1, problem number 3. Here is a view of this problem. Uh, we are given line L, oops, the color is bad, with a slope 5 over 12 and it contains the point A. So let's go ahead and quick, uh, make a quick sketch of this. So uh, let me use the coordinate axes here. So we have this coordinate axis with x and y here so therefore point a is located at 24 minus 1 so probably it's, um, let's use this color so 24 minus 1 will be somewhere here this point let's call it a 24 minus 1 and line l will have a slope 5 over 12 which is less than 1 so therefore it is a line which is relatively flat so let's try to draw a line which goes through that point and which has a slope less than uh, 1. So there you go. So this is our line L. So then let's keep reading the question. So we are also told that line L, line M is perpendicular to line L and it contains the point B, 5, 6. So point B will be somewhere, so 5, 6 will be roughly, so if this is 24, probably 12 will be here. That one would be 6 and 18. So therefore, 5, 6 will be somewhere here. And then 6 is probably like this. So that's our point B. This is 5, 6. And I know that my line M will be perpendicular to line L. So therefore, um, I can go ahead and try to imagine the line will be going something like that. So therefore, this is perpendicular here, and that's the line M. For now, I don't care about this intersection point. Maybe it is useful. If I need it, I can easily find it. Um, but anyways, um, um, so what we are told in, in next is that the original coordinate axes are erased. So these black coordinates, X and Y, are erased. And line L is made the x-axis and line M is made the y-axis such that point A is on the positive and point B is on the positive y-axis. So you can imagine rotating the axes um, in, in, in a way to like in this fashion until it hits this new. So think of line L and M as our new axes. We are told that point P which used to be on the minus 14 27 so maybe this is minus 6 so minus 12 so minus 14 is somewhere here and 27 is probably way up there so because I don't have enough space so let me just assume it is somewhere here but it is I mean almost clear that it is on the um, second quadrant for the for the new axis huh? we would like to find the coordinates of this point P under the new um, the new coordinate system. So that minus 14, 27 was under the old one, XY coordinate system. So when we move to an LM coordinate system, what will be the coordinates of this point? All I need to do in this question is obviously measuring the distance from point P to the two axes, as you can imagine. So we need to figure out this distance here and then this vertical distance like here and this will reveal the coordinates of this point but it's pretty easy i can immediately use the distance formulas to get this distance d1 and d2 but before i can do that i obviously need the equations for the line l and the line m so for the line l you can easily test it and um, it's not too hard to realize that it because it goes through that point and it has a a certain slope of 5 over um, 12 so therefore the equation for line L will look like something like this y is equal to 5 over 12 x plus a, a constant c but then I can plug in that point 24 and minus 1 so therefore minus 1 is equal to 5 over 12 uh, times 24 oh, sorry for that uh, plus C from here that would imply that C is simply um, equal to 10 minus 11 I would say 
So therefore, the equation of L is simply Y is equal to 5 over 12 X minus 11. Alternatively, we can multiply out this whole equation by 12 and then move the y to the right hand side. So therefore, equivalently, the equation for L, line L, can be written as follows. In a similar way, one can easily find the equation of M, observing that line L and M are perpendicular. The slope of L being 5 over 12 suggests that the slope of uh, line M, or here I should write probably, the slope would simply be minus 12 over 5. So therefore, like we did in the previous case, we know the slope of the line M, we know a point where it goes through, we can easily uh, manipulate the algebraic equation to ultimately find the equation of M as follows. Now I can go ahead and use the distance formula between the point P and the two x's L and M. Now that I know their equations, let me move these two equations to the following page and apply the distance formula on the following page. So therefore, uh, I just carried the values from the previous page. To find the, the, the horizontal, the x um, component, let's, let's say, of point P, we need to find the distance of P to, um, to the vertical axis M. So therefore, using the distance formula here, so D1 would be simply equal to, and obviously once I find the distance, I, the, the the representation will have a minus sign because it was on the second quadrant. So it will have, if you will, so I'm using the distance formula with uh, this equation up here. So 12 times negative 14 uh, plus 5 times uh, 27 it was, minus 90, all in absolute values, divided by the square root of 12 squared plus Five square. So the, doing the arithmetic here, you will get um, we will get 123 um, divided by um, 13. So therefore, the first coordinate is one. Oh, sorry, 123 divided by 13, and the second coordinate will be similar. So d2 will be equal to the absolute value of the equation will be this one up here. So 5 times negative 14 plus, oh, sorry, I should have said minus, um, minus uh, 12 times uh, 27 minus 132, all divided by the square root of, again, 12 squared plus square this one will come out as 526 over 13 so that's the um, coordinates under the new uh, new coordinate system and as a result the question is asking for the sum of these alpha and beta so the sum of alpha plus beta will be minus 123 sorry, divided by 13 plus uh, 526 divided by 13, that will come out beautifully as 31. So therefore, the answer to this problem is 031, and we are done.